Alright, alright, so I figured I am taking a little bit of a break from Persona 4 for a second to go ahead and get some Unlimited Mars in for you this week. But before we get started with Unlimited Mars, you know how, I, remember how I said in that other video, Hey man, don't be getting emotional, don't be freaking out, it's just low test changes, they're gonna change from each, you know, each different event. Don't even worry about it, fuck that, it's time to get goddamn emotional. It's time to be pissed. It's time to flood Arc System Works with every single negative email you could possibly flood them with. Why? Why, you ask? Why should we do that now? They took away Taker's goddamn jump loops! They're taking away his jump loops! That's fucking unacceptable. I can't know. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, you fucking didn't, Arc System Works. No, you fucking didn't. You fucking didn't. You have no idea, man. You have no fucking idea, man. I'ma kill somebody. You better fucking believe it. You better fucking believe I'm a. I am going to spend time, money, and effort making myself a goddamn Tager costume. I am going to cosplay somewhere to, at some Arc System Works event as Tager. And you better goddamn well believe I'm gonna Genesis Emerald Tager bust or somebody. Some employee that made the decision to take away Tager's jump loops. You better fucking believe it. You better fucking believe it. Channel my inner Naruto right now. Fucking believe it. Shit. And then another rant that I got through for a second. Apple. Apple sucks. End rant. Fuck. Ow. Oh, I'm not close enough to the corner. But in all seriousness, like... Oh, damn. I suck. But in all seriousness, like, really? For realsies, fuck Apple. Like, so basically what ended up happening, why I'm saying this, my iPod broke. Um, and it's out of warranty. I don't know what my warranty plan was in the first place, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't, I, I don't even know if I had a warranty, but it's out of warranty, and so if I want to get repairs for it, it would cost me the co the basically the cost of the repairs and the cost of shipping would come out to about $145 to repair this broken iPod. It's their fucking fault. It's broken in the first goddamn place because like that's how shit works. That's how mechanical things work now. They can't be made flawlessly because you want people to continue buying them. You don't want somebody to have one for the rest of their goddamn life. You want them to be flawed. You want them to have some fatal flaw in there that's going to cause them to crash and then you can charge the person for it because that's... What are you going to do? You want an iPod, right? You want to listen to music on the go, right? Better fucking have an iPod. That's fucking ridiculous. I could buy... So I, I just went outside of Apple and I just bought a used iPod for $80. Almost half the price. I got a used, perfectly functional iPod for the cost they're expecting me to pay for repairs. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. Get in the corner, bitch. Oh, yeah, that I don't know why I thought that would work. What a bitch. Man, that shit's that's just absurd. And it really sucks, because iPods are just... Like, you're not gonna find another MP3 player. Why can I not get that fucking 5C? I just, it's it just it's it's so fucking stupid. I was so mad when I saw that because I filled it. They had me fill out all the forms first. I should have known that wouldn't work. I tried to delay it a little bit. Oops. Yeah, I didn't. That was poor. Ex that was just poor execution on my part. Be like I had to fill everything out. I had to fill out a problem. I had to fill out a description for how you know V 
the person that was going to be repairing it can best, uh... Fuck! For how the person repairing it can best diagnose the problem, I had to fill out basically everything. And then it got to, this is, the, this is what it's gonna cost you to do this, because it's not under warranty. Wasted all the, like if they had just told me straight up, yo, it's gonna cost you $150 to fix, I'd be like, no, no, you're fucking stupid, Apple. Go to hell. That ain't gonna fucking happen. I'm not gonna spend the money on basically a new iPod in order for you to fix my broken iPod. No fucking thank you. Oh, damn it. I tried to, I was hoping I could 360C that for some stupid reason. Fuck. I just can't do that shit. Oh, damn it. I keep holding barrier like second too late. Same exact thing. That was supposed to be a. That was supposed to be a 360. Oh, what a header. I mean, so since we're here, can we just talk about how Arc System Works really sucks at balancing and it's perfectly shown by Bullet, their changes to Bullet? I mean, a lot of people are like, oh my god, yo, they're buffing Bullet, that's awesome. And like, they kind of are, just depending on your definition of buff. I think they nerfed her. Because I'm better than everybody else. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just playing on that one. But basically, people are saying they buffed her because she has better combos now. And that is a buff. It is a buff that she has better combos. You, you know, you, if she has better combos, you can't straight up say, you know, like, she didn't get buffed. She did. But she got nerfed at the same time. And that is where... Whoa, damn, that was weird. Huh? That was odd. Sorry, I'm very involved here. Too early? Too early. Shit, what? I should still be alive though. And I think she'll give me a counter hit spark bolt here, and I'll be in the corner. Fuck. Good. So basically what they're doing, they are increasing the... They're increasing her combo routes. Um, she can cancel her D-moves now. Her D-moves no longer cause hard knockdown like they do now. Um, you can actually air tech out of them. But, you can follow up all of her D-moves with her command moves. Like, you can do uh, Muculet Capture, which is half circle C. Uh, you can do her 623B move, which is where she, you know, basically her current DP, which she slams you down, which is, I think, probably going to be the ideal ender. And you can also do her anti-air grab thing, and all of those will combo. But the problem with that is, is that now the D, none of them have the same amount of, um, I'm not really sure, they don't give the same amount, length of knockdown. Oh shit. And so you don't have as much time to set up Oki afterwards. On top of that... That's what I tried to do, damn it. On top of that... Um... They nerfed the block stun on her D-moves. All of her D-moves now, like... If you don't... You need the red lock-on to, I believe... I believe you need the red lock-on for them to function as they do now on block. If you don't get that red lock-on, she basically bounces off... Damn, too low. I don't get the super jump. 
She basically bounces off and floats in the air. And because of that flo oh shit. Damn it. And because of that float, it's incredibly unsafe to use D moves without the red lock on. Except it's already It's already uh oh, shit, what am I trying to say? I don't even know. Basically, because of that, they nerfed her pressure. They nerfed the the Oki she has, so her wake up game is worse, or her game, uh, her knockdown game is worse. But they improved her combo routes. Like her combos, well, granted, her level zero combos, those were a problem because she was basically, she, if you were level zero or level one heat, you basically got no damage. Oh, thanks for not attacking that. You basically get no damage for your combos. You only get damage off of level th uh, level two heat. So that is that was a problem. But her problem is a shit neutral game. And her offense isn't really that scary. Like, she's a pressure character with, that does not have scary pressure, basically. That's her problem. That hasn't been fixed at all. They just gave her better combos. So, like, that's why I don't... So that's why, like, despite my saying... Oh, shit, what? I have never had that whiff on me before. That sucks. So, I, so basically what that tells me is there is just Arc System Works as balancing team, change team, whatever, design team, just has a fundamental disassociation of what a character's problems are. They just don't understand. And that's a fucking problem. One of these days I'll remember that, it doesn't combo anymore. Ah. I don't know why I tried to 360A through that projectile. It wasn't very smart. It's so I could be hit by this and be given a free 720. That's why. Because it happens every single time. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know why the fuck she got hit by that oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, so that's 100% safe because it sends me flying across the goddamn screen. <laughs> Good to fucking know. But yeah, I just... I mean, they say they want to basically break a character down to their fundamental level and basically build from there. Like, I think that's the entire intention of this thing. But from what I've seen of Bullet, they don't understand... They may, they may have an idea for how they want the character to be, but they don't understand why a character has problems. And you gotta fix those problems if you wanna build a character. You can't just... Oh, I don't know why the fuck I did that. And so I think that's what I'm scared of the most, is just the simple fact that, um... Too early again. See, I'm trying- I keep trying- I want to get the fucking timing down 100% of the time so I can spark bolt afterwards if I need it. But it's causing me to do it early a lot. That was obviously what we wanted. Oh, fuck. oh, that's an unblockable. Shit! That was obviously what we wanted. Yep, the sledge. Oops. Damn. 
I'm kind of... Admittedly kind of confused on how that works. <laughs> because I was mashing 360B the opposite way of what the motion is for Magnetech Wheel. So I'm a little baffled by the fact that Magnetech Wheel come out, came out because I was spinning the stick in the opposite way. That speaks to some very poor input recognition right there. I was like, oh hey, there was a bunch of kind of quarter circle forwards almost, but in the opposite direction. I'll just give him the quarter circle forward move, fuck it. Oh, that didn't even combo. Oh, fuck am I dead? Please don't be fucking dead. Come at me, bro. Too early again! <gasps> oh my god! I mean, that was a terrible choice on my part to hit 5D there, but I was really hoping once he started coming in that he would just run into it. Son of a bitch. That fucking stupid hop out of move shit, man. Oh shit. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting him to hop out of that, which is why I didn't follow it up. And he fucking didn't. But it's not even worth trying to make sure I hit it at the height of it right now. Just fucking finish it. God damn. So he actually has a poke that can catch jump outs. Oops. That fucking whiff punished me? Dude! Ah, oh, man. Some matchups are just impossible. So... 
Did y'all notice how that didn't pull in at all? Because I fucking did. I tried to 360A that. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. This is such a difficult, just difficult matchup on paper. Um, um, I don't know if that's a command grab or if I just, I didn't block it because it crossed me up, but this is cool. Yo, I'm losing health throughout this entire, like, he's absorbing health from me that entire time. Am I close enough? No, I'm not. Fucking doing. That was a 720! That was a 722! I swear to god. <sighs> you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Honestly, I think I should have died there. I honestly believe I probably should have died. Because I can't imagine he couldn't have supered right there and killed me. Fucking hell. Causing all kinds of panic. Alright, now we just gotta deal with goddamn Asriel. It's ought to be fun. Oops. Fuck. That was easy. <laughs> In comparison to how goddamn stressful the last one was, you asshole. Yo, you're losing me this fucking match, dog. Oh shit. Wait, whoa, how'd that miss? I gotta, I, I have to spin the stick the other way. I have to get used to doing it. Getting B Sledge instead of B Buster is fucking unacceptable. It's so much unsafer, it's... Oh god, it's terrible every time it happens, and I almost lost that entire round solely because of that. And that's fucking ridiculous. God damn, look at this motherfucker's meter game.
Yeah, that wasn't even a punish. Shit. Oh! God damn it. Oh, balls. That actually ended up working out. Oh, balls. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't know what happened there. God damn it. Mm, I'm so nervous! Come here! Fuck off! He was right in your- Oh, shit. That hurt. Oh, fuck. I tried to throw. Fuck that. Best, I'm the best, better than all the rest. Suck my dick, suck my dick. You can go and eat a dick. Now I just have to do it with all the rest of the cast. <laughs> oh, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Congratulations. But at least I can finally. You, you, I beat it with Tager and you give me a picture of Izzyoy? I'm not online right now. But seriously, I beat Unlimited Mars with Tager. And you give me a picture of Izzyoy? It wasn't even a slutty picture of Izzyoy. It was just a regular picture of Izzyoy. I go through all that effort, all these fucking videos, and motherfucker give me a picture of Izzyoy? It's a shitty reward, dawg. It's just, it's constant trolling with these guys. Constant trolling, man. Fucking ridiculous. But yeah, so anyway, I did say, you know, I, I don't want to start up another round of Unlimited Mars with Azrael or anything because, um... Uh, I don't, this video's basically going on for 30 minutes by itself. But, basically, I do want to kind of expand on what I was saying earlier, where I just, I, I don't feel like Arc System Works really understands a character's issues. I think that they're, I don't know if they're just disassociated from the community, if, if they, or like if people just, if they're incapable of understanding explanations from people in the community or what, I just, I don't know what it is, but they show just a clear lack of real knowledge of like what would make a good game, in my opinion. Like, I mean, just the introduction of this Overdrive Riot shit is, it, it's exactly to my point that I don't think they under- like nobody wa I don't know anybody that wants this. There are some Tagger players that are obviously excited for it because all they're thinking about is uh, Overdrive cancel 720 during block stun, but you have to understand like almost every single one of Tagger's- if you just go back and watch that Hazuma thing, look how many times I got whiff punished on my 5C. Every single one of your pokes on whiff is going to get you blown up with Tagger. So like, it's a, it's an extremely double, actually somebody, one of the players on Twitter that was actually uh, expanding on all the changes a little bit actually said that, like, OD Raid is a massive double-edged sword. Doing it for 720 against somebody else is amazing, but you will cry the moment somebody does it against your 3C and you whiff that. 6A too, 6A would be probably the worst move in Tager's arsenal I can think of to whiff, because it's... If you can't cancel 6A, that move has like 30 frames of recovery on whiff or something. You are going to get annihilated if somebody cancels before you're, uh, actually before 3C or 6A. Either one of those, you're just going to get eaten alive for missing those. And so I legitimately believe 
they well, I'm saying this right now. I am going on record to say that if OD Raid stays in Blaze Blue, I will not purchase it. I will not buy it. That will be like, I mean, like I said, I'm, I've already been very critical overall of Arc System Works' decisions lately. And I've already said, you know, I'm not even sure if I'm going to buy BBCP2 because of their decision to uh, be lazy with New rather than actually make her and her face changes like compelling and cool and good. They were just like, hey, we can't do it. Let's just make two of them. And let's just bring back Lambda instead. And then they bring in a character that was shoehorned into the story unnecessarily. Put in before tons of other fan-desired characters. And basically just because, like... I mean, basically they're working for themselves rather than working... That's what I'm seeing right now. They're working for themselves rather than working for the fans who have gotten this game to have six or how many has it been ct cs1 cs2 extend cp i don't know if you can really count 1.1 i wouldn't count 1.1 because cs2 had a or one of those games i think it was cs2 had a second balance patch in there anyway it's irrelevant basically they've had six iterations of this game thus far and it's been successful because of the fans you can't just ignore what your fans want and expect to continue having people buy it. It's not going to work out that way. And so... And that's what they're doing right now. I don't think they're... Do, I, don't, I think they're making the games for themselves right now instead of making it for the people that lo have loved it and supported it up until now. And I feel like that's just a poor idea because you're... There's... This isn't how it was back when CT came out or how it was even back when CS1 came out where there really weren't many options if you wanted a fighting game to play it's not like that anymore you know Street Fighter 4 came back and it basically brought fighting games back into the limelight and allowed everything that's happened since then it brought out a new Mortal Kombat uh, it brought about mo another Marvel after 10 years it brought back the anime games they're making a new guilty gear now finally persona 4 arena now they're making fighting games based off of popular jrpgs there are so many options that you cannot afford to piss off the fan base that has supported you for so long especially when you're not the biggest fighting game around you're not street fighter is way fucking bigger um Guilty Gear has the potential to just sw slam this game out the door. It might. It very well could. And if they continue making decisions like they're making now with the design of the next of CP2, it's becoming increasingly likely in my mind that that will happen. That they will basically kill the Blaze Blue franchise because they're just making poor design decisions. So I'm just saying straight up right now, I don't give a shit about character changes. I can always find a new character. I can always I can play whatever characters I want to. I think I'm good enough at a game that all I'll have to do is put in a little bit of extra work and dedication to make other characters work that don't just get nerfed into the ground. Now that's kind of irrelevant because thus far, Azrael isn't getting nerfed into the ground. From from what his changes are so far, he's actually probably one of the better off characters overall. He did get he did eat some shit. Like um they increased the recovery on his 2C. So basically, 2C is almost irrelevant as a combo tool now. The only thing you can do is basically cancel it into 6D or 3D at this point to combo off of it. So you can't. So there's no more of the like corner combos where you do you know 5B, 2C. Five, actually, that may still work because they are in the air for a long time after that one. So you may still be able to get that. But stuff like um, what is what is I'm trying to remember that combo that I do in the oh five basically get a starter and then go into 5b 2c and then 2b uh tiger cobra valiant and then you get the valiant stick off of that and then you go for a combo from there that won't work anymore you can know 2c has too much recovery a combo into 2b from now on so stuff like that won't work or like sin you can do sentinel dump 2c 2b tcl that won't work anymore stuff like that um and that's actually that actually kind of sucks because 2c was his most reliable anti-air so you increase the recovery on that and now he really doesn't have a reliable anti-air anymore because if you whiff it you're fucked it's just rest in peace Azrael. you're done so you kind of all he really has now is 5b which is a good anti-air but it has no invincibility so you kind of have to just throw it out and hope somebody runs into it rather than using it on reaction but then he has stuff like 
they removed the let me actually talk about this for a little bit i gotta i gotta i gotta i got something to say about this i have seen at least 12 plus different people talking about how all of the asriel players every single asriel player is just bitching and moaning and crying about the removal of the invincibility on growler where I have seen none of it I have seen so many people complaining about people complaining about Azrael being nerfed but I have not seen a single person actually say oh my god why did they nerf growler nobody cares that they nerfed growler it was a shitty reversal to begin with <laughs> it was terrible the majority of the time it traded not in your favor in the first damn place and the rest of the times it has such a shitty hitbox that it just whiffs and you're left out to dry to eat a huge punish it's not worth using it's not a big deal to lose growler as a reversal so like i want to know where these people are because i have not seen a single person bitch about growler losing its invincibility but like i said i have seen plenty of people bitching about people bitching it's so weird i'm just every single time i see it I'm like where where are these mythical creatures you speak of because i haven't seen them i have seen more unicorns in my lifetime than i have seen people bitching about asriel's growler change because personally i think the growler change is great you're taking away the invincibility but now i can fucking absorb a projectile and immediately cancel into phalanx cannon fucking give it to me i will fucking frolic in the streets naked with joy over that change because some of his hardest matchups are against zoners with effective projectiles and now they throw out a projectile asriel absorbs it and they eat a phalanx cannon in the face next thing you know i'm up in that ass and i'm blowing it up you better damn well believe i'm happy about that change nobody's bitching about it so stop bitching about people bitching about it holy shit but yeah, it's... all of that is irrelevant. All of the character specific changes in my mind at this moment are irrelevant. What matters to me overall, like the deal breaker, no matter what, is if this overdrive raid shit stays in the game. If it remains in the game, I will, I am done with blaze blue. I will say, I'm saying it straight up right now. I will not do any more blaze blue videos. I will not be buying CP2. I will not be supporting this game because you are fucking it. You are bending it over and fucking it. And I ain't down with that. It didn't ask for it. It's not consenting to that. So if other people are happy with it, you go ahead and be happy with it. Enjoy your game. And I hope you do enjoy it. And I hope it doesn't cause you to rage out at every moment because none of your moves will be safe unless they don't have a burst. Best of luck to you, Blaze Blue. But if you do that, you and I are done. I will be seeing other people, and hopefully, I will enjoy the shit out of Persona 4 Arena or Guilty Gear, or I'll just get even more into Street Fighter and just you know play that as much as I can. I don't know, but I will be done with Blaze Blue. That's all I know. So I'm just saying that right now. Arc System Works ball is in your court. Not like I'm a huge effect on everything. You know, it's not like I'm getting a million views here. And costing them sales but still that's i'm just i'm just telling them right now they want me to buy the game get rid of overdrive raid otherwise it's not gonna happen done deal peace out so thank you for listening to that little bit of the rant at the end hope y'all enjoyed it hope y'all enjoyed me finally fucking beating this goddamn mode but now like i said i gotta beat it with asriel actually let me get let me know you know what no 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 hold the fuck up let's see what we, i mean well Wait. Oh, I don't think I don't think I have that button triggered. I totally don't. You can't trigger it to back. Okay. Oh shit. What? Oh, that's taunt. Cool. Unlimited should come with an unlimited only color. Like just one. That's it. just one. Maybe two. But it should have its own color. I think that'd be cool. People would fucking hate it. Because you'd have to beat the mode to get that color. But I think it's worth it. I mean, the thing is, is like... Overall, it didn't really take me that long to beat this. Like, I think if I had just... He actually... I think he actually moves 
slower in unlimited mode. Oh my god, look at that. That's the old backdash. Oh my god, it's so easily noticeable. He doesn't have old that shit, though. Oh my god, he has old atomic collider, I forgot! Yo, give me this shit! I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. So what is that, just like a double? Yeah, double. Oh my god, he pounds the ground, that's fucking awesome! Oh my god, that wall bounces! Except I don't know how to... Yo, how does he do? Oh, that was weird. I don't know how I was fucking that up. God damn it, I don't mean- I'm not meaning to do that. Dang it, Sparkbolt. Oh my god, I keep forgetting! Oops. I'm not meaning to do that! Huh. That's weird. Oh, fuck, I can't do that. <laughs> it gives me the old damage back. Yeah, what other shit does he have? Oh, wait, what? Hold on. I think my timing's just off there. Oh my god, fuck you! Yeah, it doesn't look like that works. God damn it. I mean, I was hoping he was gonna kind of pound him. How fucking cool would that be? Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has that anymore. Like, either I'm just supremely fucking it up. No, yeah, that doesn't drag anywhere near how long it should. I need to get used to doing that. I need to be better at tick throws with 720. That's one thing I don't really do anymore. I used to do tick throws off of 720 a lot. But anyway, that's irrelevant because uh, I beat a limited Mars with suck, but damn!